Hi guys, this is Chandrasekhar Reddy. Now I am going to show how to create a repository in the GitHub website, and as well as accessing the repos remote repository from the local machine by using SSH and HTTPS URLs. So for that, you first of all you need to have the account in GitHub website. So creating if you want an existing, you can use the sign in option. If you are new, then you have to create an account in the github so I already have an account so i am going for sign into uh, with uh, using my username and password so after signing into this account you will get uh, if you move your cursor to top right corner you will find this option username create new notification settings sign out option so if you want to create a repository then you need to create uh, click on create new repository create new new repository then it will ask for the repository name here so i am going to use uh, repository name as demo and the description this will be the optional option so that means uh, you can if you want to provide the description you can or else you can skip it i am giving the this is a demo project or repository whatever then here you will find two types of uh, accounts public and private so a uh, public is a uh, free that is the public will be used means if you created a public repository that can be viewable by anybody and if you use a uh, private then only your allowed persons can see your stuff and the third one is initialize this repository with the readme.md file so in the next sessions i am going to explain about readme.md file so initially i am creating a repository without a readme.md file click on create then it will create the repository demo so here you will get the https and ssh urls so this urls are used to access the remote this remote repository from the local machine so i am going to use this urls to clone you clone or push commit or something whatever all we need to do that can be uh, this url can be used so i am going to copy this url to clone the remote repository into my local machine so for that i am opening my git bash client program then I am going to use ls command to list out the stuff that is in our current directory. So here is nothing. Uh, so I am directly cloning my repository, remote repository here. So I am pasting the URL HTTPS. Uh, now it is cloning. Uh, cloning has done. So you got the demo repository from the remote machine. So if you use ls hyphen after our demo then you will be able to see what all we need so here you got or else you can navigate into that directory and you use ls a you will get a dot git that means uh, you that is a github repository so and now you will be able to see master so that means this is the master branch right and then if you Come, gonna come back then automatically remove this demo project then here it is nothing now if you want ssh url actually there is a one thing you need to observe if i used https url it won't ask for the password usernames etc blah 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 so directly you can uh, do whatever you all need to do so some uh, if you want to use SSH, you need to set up some SSH keys in the GitHub repository and as well as remote local machine. So public and private key fairs. Actually, directly if you use like, so I am going to show example. So here I am copying using git clone command. I am going to clone that remote repository. I am pasting the repository URL and then press enter it will try to access the remote repository so here you, are, you will get permission denied means there is no authentication mechanism from your remote machine to local machine means 
there is no trusted relationship established between the client and the remote machine so if you want to uh, establish the trusted relationship between the client and server you need to generate the ssh keys by using ssh key gen iphone t type of key so i'm gonna use rsa and then comment capital c uh, here i am required uh, my mail id or you can use anything if you want to use your uh, name or something mobile numbers whatever you want so whatever you have given this comment line comment inverted commas double quotes it will be encrypted the text so here it is asking for where that ssh keys to be stored actually by defaultly here the users home directory dot ssh under dot ssh the public and private key will be stored so here if you go for user home directory then you will able to find dot ssh folder so in this ssh folder only that files will be placed okay or else if you if you want to change that uh, location to store this keys then you can provide here i am going to use my home directory only just i am pressing enter then it will ask for the passphrase passphrase is nothing but your password uh, this is the second level step of authentication method so if you want to use uh, password to you uh, whenever uh, cloning and updating or else do the some stuff you need to uh, require password every time so i'm re-entering my passphrase the key has been generated and that key is stored into my dot ssh directory here you will get type pub in if you generate first time the noun host it will not come because already i try to clone once so that's why it uh, created a dot ssh folder under that the noun host will be created but there is no keys right so before we generating that's why we need, we got error now we have generated private and public key here just open just watch the type of file then you will you identify pub that means public key file open with some text editor i am going to use notepad and copy the all content in that file then close it go move to github website then here you need to go to settings section click on settings it will give some list of options in this section you need to go and click on ssh keys then click on add ssh keys and the pc name or the username you can give any title and paste that key whatever the copied whatever the copied content available that can be pasted over here then click on add key so key was added successfully here now try to clone the repository using ssh for that you need to click on your username click on that repository whatever repositories are available it will show here now you will find the ssh link now use the git clone command then paste the url ssh url now it is trying to clone the repository now it asks for the first time establishment of connection means trusted relationship so warning permanently added so your ip will be added and your machine uh, recognition key will be added to there and enter the passphrase passphrase whatever the password we have given while generating the ssh keys you need to require it then use the ls command so demo has been cloned then just navigate into demo use ls hyphen here dot git so dot git directory is there now you can able to do all the stuff so i am simply gonna create one file called test.java 
Now use the git status command to know the status of the git repository. Here this file is untracked. That means it is available in the only directory. Okay. Now you need to add that one to staging area. Or you can instead of using dot you can specify the specific file name. But I am using dot to add the all files. There is only single file, right? If you are having a multiple files, then you can use dot one. And now if you use get status command you will be able to find so this means changes to be committed change that means this whatever the file we have created that has been added from the local uh, directory to uh, repository staging area now if, if you want to unstage then you can use git rm command rm means the remove git or remove hyphen hyphen captured then it will be unstaged so I am going to show you this one also, iPhone iPhone. And see, I catch it. Test.java. That means now use git status again. Now it comes up to local repository, means a local directory. Now if you want to directly make add and as well as commit operations at a time then you need to use git commit iphone a add and iphone m to log message i am initial not initial i am just going to give the message like created a created file so initial commit untracked files nothing added to commit but untracked files present so that means already we have uh, means we have removed that from the repository so that's why it is showing like that first just add that one now use the git status command it will be uh, going to add stage uh, staging area now use the commit command to commit to the repository now created created a test.java file Now it is committed. Now use the git status command. The working directory will be clean. Means there is nothing to commit in uh, from this area. But you need to push this uh, file to the remote repository. So whatever all we we have done here, uh, that will be affected in the local repository only, not in the remote repository. If you want to make uh, commit these changes to remote repository, that means here you need to. Uh, use a git push command so git push is used to uh, commit your files whatever changes you have done that going to be affected in the remote repository before that you need to add that file uh, to the remote repository so for that git need git remote remote add origin then you need to use the url again so already we have cloned this repository so that means it will directly give the uh, ex already exist origin already existed like that so remote origin already existed that means already we have uh, cloned from there only right so that's why it is giving like this now directly it in, uh, you can push to the remote repository from the local uh, using git push iphone u origin master now it will be able to push your local files to remote repository but it will ask for the password so if you want to give the password while generating the key directly going to be committed but we have uh, used second step authentication so every time it will be asked for the password so i have given password then it is committed to the remote repository now we use the git status command so everything your branch is up to date origin master nothing to commit so means the everything will be uh, fine in the local repository and as well as a remote repository there is nothing to do right now just to go to the remote repository in your website then click on the repository name now you will be able to see test.java i created a test dot java file this is the log message whatever we have given with the minus m in, in using double quotes so test dot java file so there is nothing in the 
test data. This is the empty file, right? Now just test. So add some content in the test.java file. VM visual with next. This is the first line. Just save and exit the editor. Now use the git status command. So your file was modified. So that means we need to add to the staging area first. Then we need to commit commit that file to the local repository. File modified. So now use the git status command again. So working directory clean, but you need to uh, update means that you need to use push command to update your uh, com uh, changes to the remote repository. Okay, now use the git push iphone u origin master. So it will ask for the pass press. Just enter the password, then it is going to be committed to the remote repository. Now use the git status command. So your branch is up to date. That means all our changes to be affected in the uh, remote repository. Again, click on the remote repository. Then you will see file modified. Okay, the latest changes. So what have you been changed in the uh, file? You can click on the file. So it will show the list of contents that has added or modified. So and you can edit your files, delete your files, and you can you view the history. The commit uh, histories so la blown like everything you can do here also and as well as in the client uh, program also that means a git bash is if you want to use i am going to create a um, another file called second dot java i have created a file but i want to uh, use to push i want to use HTTP URL. Click on the direct repository, and here you will get the HTTPS link, or you can clone with HTTPS as well as SSH. If you already created a files within the within this remote repository, means in the GitHub website, you are not able to find here in this area the URLs. Then it will be find here so if you want to this you access use http url you can use uh, git push iphone u origin sorry git uh, we have created the file right now use git status command this is in the unattracted area just to add to this file to the local repository staging area now just commit these files to local repository created second dot java file so it is committed to local repository now use the git status command now we need to push but before that you need to add the file to the remote repository uh, origin and just use this URL HTTPS so already existed this one margin now you can able to push margin master so if you are using a HTTPS connection automatically it will if you are uh, uh, once if you uh, enter the ssh keys into public repository and as well as local machine so that the trusted relationship between uh, the trusted relationship as existed both the client and server machine so it will use for only ssh not https right if you are not having ssh then only it will be used the https connection okay thank you Keep watching my next tutorial also. I will going to explain about it briefly. Thank you.